Dear viewers, we welcome you through Nursat Satellite Channel and Telemir TV. On the occasion of the Isra and Mi'raj anniversary, which occurred last Wednesday, Nursat Satellite Office in the Holy Lands of Jordan in Palestine, represented by its director, Dr. Basim al-Sam'an and the team, is pleased to extend heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II, the Jordanian family, our beloved Jordan, and the Arab nation. May God bless everyone with goodness, grace, blessing. And we begin with the following headlines. His Majesty the King emphasizes the importance of UNRWA's role in providing assistance to over 2 million Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. The Arab Episcopal Evangelical Church observes the annual pilgrimage day to the baptism site. The Latin Patriarchate calls for enhancing the sense of security among Christian clergy in the Holy Land. Welcome back. His Majesty King Abdullah II emphasized the importance of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East, UNRWA, in providing assistance to over 2 million Palestinians in Gaza. This underscores the need to continue supporting UNRWA to enable it to persist in delivering its services in accordance with its international mandate. His Majesty also warned against the ongoing Israeli escalation in the West Bank and Jerusalem, cautioning that it could lead to a situation spiraling out of control and escalating tensions in the region. King Abdullah II reiterated the necessity of finding a political horizon for the Palestinian issue to achieve a just and comprehensive peace based on the two-state solution. He highlighted that the region will not experience security and stability unless the Palestinian-Israeli conflict is resolved. The Patriarchal Vicar of Jerusalem for the Latins, Archbishop Pierre Battista Pizzabella, appointed Father Dr. Jihad Shrihat as the caretaker of the Latin Archdiocese in Jordan until the appointment of a new bishop to succeed, Dr. Jamal Khadr. The Apostolic See in the Vatican had decreed that Bishop Jamal Khadr would serve in the mission to Somalia and Djibouti due to the urgent need for a capital theological shepherd to lead the church in those regions. His beatitude also decided to appoint Mr. Farid Gibran as the director and advisor for public relations in the Patriarchate in Jerusalem, acknowledging his extensive experience in managing the affairs of local churches in the Holy Land. On this occasion, Dr. Basim al saman the regional director of Nursat Satellite Channel in the Holy Land of Jordan and Palestine, expressed her wishes for everyone's continued success in their assigned tasks, serving the church, the congregation, and the community. On the other hand, His Eminence Cardinal Pierre Battista Bizzabella presided over the annual Divine Liturgy at the Church of the Beatitudes, belonging to the Franciscan nuns. The ceremony was attended by several bishops, priests, and students from the Holy Spirit Seminary. In his sermon, Cardinal Pizzabella emphasized the power of the Beatitudes and their impact on our lives. He pointed out that contemporary individuals often seek victory through various means, while the Beatitudes considered fundamental references in the life of every Christian teaches us the necessity of seeking peace through avenues such as dialogue and understanding. He also stressed that our positions, especially in these challenging circumstances, should be based on the teachings of the Beatitudes. Our decision and thoughts should align with the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. On another note, the Latin Patriarchate condemned the heinous attack on Father Nicodemus Shanabel, the head of the Monastery of the Virgin in Jerusalem. The Patriarchate stated in its statement that the trial of the perpetrators of hate crimes is a crucial condemnation to deter attackers and enhance the sense of security for Christian clergy in the Holy Land, especially in Jerusalem. The Higher Presidential Committee for Church Affairs in Palestine also condemned the assault by extremist settlers on Father Shan Abel. He was subjected to spitting, humiliation and insults to the Christian religion and its symbols while passing through the alleys of the whole city in Jerusalem. The committee announced that this attack is a part of a series of assaults on religious figures, including beating and verbal abuse by extremists. Its president, Dr. Ramzi Khouri, stated that these ongoing attacks on Islamic and Christian sanctities in Jerusalem are a continuation of Israeli plans to depopulate Palestine. The committee called on churches worldwide to pressure the governments to halt all forms of sectarian and racist violence carried out by settlers against the Palestinian people and their sanctities. His Beatitude, the Patriarch of the Holy City and all of Palestine and Jordan, Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, renewed the Pledge of Allegiance to His Majesty King Abdullah II, the guardian of the Hashemite custodianship over Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem, on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of Loyal and Allegiance. 
In a statement, his beatitude expressed that history will engrave in golden letters all that Jordan has done diplomatically, politically, officially, and popularly, especially in the recent events in Gaza. He affirmed that Jordan, more than any other, has a historical and legitimate right in everything it undertakes, guided by its just Hashemite custodianship over Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem. Patriarch Theophilus commended His Majesty's steadfast position on various international platforms, especially regarding the issue of the Christian in the Holy Land, their endowments and properties. He acknowledged His Majesty's continuous efforts to solidify the continuity of Christian presence, emphasizing that Hashemites have always been a secure haven for Christians in the Holy Land. Representing Prime Minister Dr. Bashir al khassawne Minister of Awqaf Dr. Muhammad al khalaileh presided over the celebration organized by the ministry on the occasion of the World Interfaith Harmony Week titled Jordan, a model of harmony among followers of different sects and religions. In his speech, al khalaileh affirmed that harmony was born out of this country, initiated by a generous Hashemite proposal presented by His Majesty King Abdullah II to become a religious season celebrated globally. He pointed out that in Jordan, Muslims and Christians have lived in love and harmony, a unique historical example. In addition, the Grand Mufti of the Kingdom, Dr. Ahmed al hassanat expressed that today we are witnessing an unprecedented state of aggression against our brothers in Gaza, leading to the martyrdom of tens of thousands. Chief Justice Al-Hafiz al, -Hafiz al stated that the Week of Harmony aims to promote cultural peace and reject violence among people. Father Nabil Haddad, the director of Jordanian Center for Research on Religious Coexistence, emphasized that our nation seeks goodness and unity, has become a vessel of harmony. He highlighted the position of our leader and the message of our nation, placing us all before the responsibility of promoting progress and loyalty to our harmony. The celebration was attended by a large number of Islamic and Christian religious figures, along with a diverse gathering of civilians and military officials, as well as official, media and public figures. The Arab Episcopal Evangelical Church in the Kingdom celebrated the annual pilgrimage day to the site of the baptism of Jesus Christ, attended by hundreds of pilgrims led by Archbishop Hussam Naoum, the head of the bishops and all the clergy of the archdiocese. During the celebration, Archbishop Naoum delivered a sermon on the spiritual and humanitarian meanings of baptism, spreading love and peace in the Holy Land and Gaza. Reverend Fayyak Haddad called for prayers for the continued security and stability in Jordan under the wise Hashemite leadership. He also expressed gratitude for the efforts of his Ministry of Tourism and the Baptism Sites Commission in caring for his sacred location. He called for peace in Jerusalem, Palestine and all countries of the region, thanking the security forces for their efforts in maintaining the safety and comfort of the pilgrims at the baptism site. He also extended his thanks to Nusat Satellite Channel for its continued coverage of religious events at the Sacred Heart and others. After the celebration, the procession of clergy, servants and scouts descended to the eastern side of the Jordan River to bless themselves with its holy water, accompanied by spiritual hymns sung by scout groups, resonating with heartfelt religious chants. On behalf of His Majesty King Abdullah II, Dr. Firas al Hawari, the Minister of Health presided over the opening ceremony of the first international conference for the reconstruction of the health sector in Gaza. The conference was organized by the Jordan Medical Association and the Arab American National Medical Association in collaboration with various local and Arab associations, professional unions, civil society institutions, and international organizations from more than 50 Arab and global countries. The conference, attended by Her Royal Highness Princess Dina Mirad, and a large number of officials, participants and invitees addressed the current state of health sector in Gaza and discussed ways to rescue and enable it to fulfill its role despite the destruction caused by the Zionist aggression on the region. This aggression affected hospitals, ambulances and the health and medical workforce. Among the speakers at the conference were the Minister of Health, Dr. Ziad Zoubi, the President of the Jordan Medical Association, Dr. Ziad Zoubi, the President of the Gaza Health Sector Reconstruction Initiative, Dr. Omar Latouf, and the Chairman of the Conference Program Committee, Dr. Fawzi Al Hamouri. The speakers commended the excellent organization and the resolutions issued by the conference. With the aim of promoting religious tourism between Jordan and Greece and blessing the holy places in the kingdom, a group of Orthodox Church hierarchs from Greece visited both Al Salt and Fahis. The tour began with a visit to the Church of the Dormition of the Mother of God and St. George in Al Salt, where they were welcomed by His Eminence Archmandrite Christophorus Haddad, the spiritual leader of Al Balqa Governorate, and the Church Committee, along with members of the congregation.
The delegation also visited the Church of St. George for the Orthodox Romans in Afrohais, where they were received by His Eminence Archimandrite Christophorus Haddad, the spiritual leader of the Orthodox Roman Monastery in Afrohais, as well as the priest of the Apostolic Churches in Afrohais and members of the Church Committee. The visit aimed to enhance mutual understanding and strengthen the bonds between the religious communities in Jordan and Greece. In the Holy Land, His Eminence Bishop William Shomali, the General Patriarchal Vicar for the Latins, presided over Divine Liturgy at the parish of St. Joseph in the town of Reine, located northeast of Nazareth in Palestine. Following the liturgy in which Father Ibrahim Shomali, the parish priest, participated, there was a meeting with Bishop William Shomali discussing the significance of the Word of God, how to read it, and how to contemplate it. This meeting is a part of pastoral plan to establish a prayer group for meditating on the Word of God and finding practical ways to live and understand the Word in our daily lives. Additionally, there is a focus on initiating a committee to oversee the liturgical matters of the Church, organizing and arranging them. The plan also includes conducting informative meetings aimed at involving lay people in the life and sacred work of the Church. On the occasion of the fifth anniversary of the signing of the Document on Human Fraternity for World Peace and Living Together, signed by His Holiness Pope Francis and His Eminence Sheikh Al Ahmad Al Tayyib, the Grand Imam of Al Azhar in Abu Dhabi, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, addressed the world with a message. He stated, We celebrate these days, the anniversary in a world marked by division, conflict, and inequality among people. It is our duty to come together to protect and enhance human rights, combat hate speech, and violent extremism, and stand against those who profit from war. The United Nations emphasized in its message that efforts should be directed towards creating a world where dialogue and compassion prevail and human dignity is upheld. The commitment to promoting religious understanding and cooperation among people, regardless of their culture and beliefs, was renewed. The goal is to collectively pave the way towards a more peaceful and just world that serves the interest of all. Here we are, dear viewers, at the end of our broadcast. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. His Majesty the King emphasizes the importance of UNRWA's role in providing assistance to over 2 million Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. The Arab Episcopal Evangelical Church observes the annual pilgrimage day to the baptism site. The Latin Patriarchate calls for enhancing the sense of security among Christian clergy in the Holy Land. For more details, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Wishing you pleasant time and until we meet again, have a good day.